Hi, it's Raphael with Chess House, and I have a demonstration on how to set up your DGT chessboard for play on chess.com. I've had a lot of fun playing chess on chess.com lately, and I've seen more discussions about connecting the DGT board with this uh, online play site, and I thought it'd be fun to try that out. So I did some reading, and I found it was fairly straightforward with a few caveats. So let's go right into how to do this. Uh, first of all, you have a chess.com account, or you should, and then we will go right to the next stage, which would be to install the live chess by DGT. So let's look that up here. DGT live chess cloud. Okay, this needs to be in place to communicate. It's more reliable or more suitable in this case than the Rabbit plugin for DGT. And my demonstration is going to be on Windows 7, rather Windows 10, but it, the software is for Windows 7 and later. It'll be a 64-bit right here, so I'll download and get that started. Uh, the reason that Live Chess software is being used instead is that it runs on Java and so it actually works for um, Mac system as well. I'm just going to demonstrate the installation and the whole setup of this on a Windows 10 system and I think you'll be surprised how straightforward it is. There's just a few settings that had to be located for this to work. And one of the things I'm most excited about showing you is that with a Chrome plugin, by the way Chrome and Windows Edge are the only two this works in. It does not work in Firefox as of this time, as far as I've found. So there's a Chrome plugin that will announce the moves, which makes for independent play. So you don't have to be looking at your screen. Okay, I have this installed. I'm going to open up the Live Chess software that I have installed. And I have a DGT smart board here with me. I chose, instead of a wooden version, I chose the plastic smart board version, but I did put the wooden timeless pieces on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Okay, the computers recognize the smart board, and I'm going to click on here eboards within DGT Live Chess, I see that the status is connected here. I've played a few games on it uh, the other day, and so those are already showing here. That's all I need to do is connect DGT Live Chess like this. Now, the next step in preparation for this is to install the Chrome Voice uh, Commentary. So I'll go and search for Chess Voice Extension. So that's the Voice Commentary Extension. We'll add this to Chrome. Add the extension. It's currently installing it. It's checking right here. And I found that it's helpful to restart the browser. So it has been added, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this browser and reopen it. Okay, I have Chrome opening up again. Once you have the chess.com voice commentary installed, you'll see that it says you can also remove it from Chrome, but pay attention to this icon up here, which is the chess.com icon, chess icon. You can have a default voice, another or off, and a volume setting here in addition to your system volume. Okay, now we have the voice tool installed and we have DGT Live Chess ready to go. So log into your chess.com account. And this is what you need to do for the first time. Go into settings and then all settings. Go to beta down here. Then click join beta if you haven't already. It's as easy as that. 
then go back to play then you'll find this little settings icon up here click that settings icon scroll down and now you will see DGT Smartboard. I have already enabled this but you'll probably see it like this and click Save. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and test this out. We'll see if this works as expected. And what I want to do is hear the moves on the computer so I do not have to uh, look at the screen. And a five minute game is very fast for a DGT board, but I'm gonna go ahead and start a game like this. Okay, we're going to click play. E4. E6. Knight F3. D6. D4. Okay, I'm playing as black since it automatically selected white. Okay, so what I just demonstrated here, and this is a, one of the issues with the DGT board, uh, rather the way I use it, and something for you to keep in mind is that I slid the piece to D5 and the input caught D4, D6 here, rather. So this is my position, and I'll have to go with it. D5. That can be especially important when castling. E5. I'm behind the tempo here, but C5, C3, Knight, C6, Bishop, B5, Bishop, D7, Bishop, takes, C6. I mean, this is really exciting, that playing live person. Bishop, Bishop takes, takes C6. Six. Six. Castle, Castle short. short. C, C takes D4. C takes D4. Bishop B4. Bishop, D2. Queen, B6. So one thing to keep in mind is that so far, I understand devices like the Pi and DGT clocks are not compatible with the chess.com connection. But uh, I'll keep an eye on developments. Uh, it's exciting at least to see that this connection with independent play because of the voice comment, the voice comments allows for a fairly uh, natural experience. So I'm going to demonstrate a castle very soon and show that sliding is not preferred. So I'm going to pick up the king and it works fine that way. Knight, B, D2, B5. 
Okay, that should be good for the demonstration. I hope this works out great for you. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and post them in the comments on this video and I will try to um, answer them.